Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a beautiful look with a matte gray palette that we're coming out with called Rewrite the Rules and a pink lip. I just thought it was so beautiful. I love those grays and pinks together. And I'm giving you just a little bit more background on kind of how I'm feeling, what's going on with me and the challenges that I face. So are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I just slicked back my hair a little bit. My hair is actually too long. I'm getting it cut today. I forgot to make my appointment at the very end of my last appointment. So I'm over a month, which is never good. I use Lay Right. This is a super hold pomade. It's water-based, which I really love, but it's high hold, medium shine. I don't really care about the shine part. This is the only thing that holds down my hair. So I have to use a men's product, which I think is great interesting, but I've been using it forever. So I really like it. Now I am using one skincare product, one skincare line for 30 days. And I want to see if I see a difference because I do have more reactive skin. I've noticed, I don't know what we're doing with the perimenopause menopause situation. I basically think I've taken my period for granted because I don't know where, if it's going to come back. <laughs> Come, come back. So I have hormones or I feel like I'm very unbalanced to be honest. And I find it to be very hard to age on camera for 14 years from 2010. When I started, I had completely different hair and then midway through and my hair exploded and I went through IVF and I've been through so much. And especially the last three years, I've been through so much with my cosmetic line, building the house, building the warehouse, building the fierce aging set. I've been pretty resilient to just being on the chopping block when you start building an audience that gets bigger and bigger and you have just, you know, new people, not your, you know, tried and true loyal followers. And, you know, recently I got a DM that was trying to diagnose me with some disease because my eyes look different. I'm assuming she was saying like the fact that my eyes look different underneath. You know what it is, ladies? It's called being tired. There's no disease. I think that I'm very open on my channel and raw and real that if I had a disease, I would basically be letting everyone know. <laughs> so Anyway, I just thought it was just like, oh my gosh, just comments like that, right? It's very hard as a woman, a mature woman to age and have a million people have an opinion about it. It just is. I mean, that's just how I feel. So I know I probably aged myself the last two years because I was under a lot of stress. I mean, I hit a pinnacle. I think, um, I don't even know if it was 2022. Yeah, it was. It was 2022 in the spring. And I reached out to this editing company that I had interviewed before in 2019, but wasn't ready to do it. And was like, I need help. And so I have an incredible editing team that has really supported me for now almost two years. There is no way I could have done that. I was up until three o'clock in the morning, trying to get up at seven, do it all over again, film, whatever. So I really, you know, I find that every time I'm on YouTube, it's a new doctor talking about why this woman's face is aging, taking it apart, you know, oh, this is sagging, the collagen elastin's leaving, oh, your menopausal hormones. I mean, it's like a battlefield of just pure negative negativity and depression. And I'm just not here for it. You know what? I'm aging. Okay, great. I'm doing the best I can. I actually got a book called slow beauty because I'm all about slowing down and it's a real challenge for me. I am not somebody that is like, Woo, I can't wait. I'm just going to just chill. I really haven't been able to do that. My husband's the same way. We have done everything full throttle, especially with the IVF for four years of five rounds in one year, flying to different doctors, more consults, trying to figure it out, buy medical books. Then I knew I had endometriosis. Then finding a doctor that would actually do my advanced surgery for my gynecologic issue of endometriosis. Yes. Then diagnosed with stage Three. Like I've been through a lot. I put my body through a lot. You know, I always tell myself and my body, like, I'm so happy that you sustained me through all of that. So my hair went gray. So what? All right. Big deal. Big deal for a lot of other people. Not for me. I really don't care. So if women want to diagnose me with some disease and diseases, cause I look different or I look tired, do it. Great you know, but I'm here to show you what a real face is aging. That's why I'm choosing not to do Botox and filler. I mean, yeah, I could go along with everybody else. I used to do it, but I just felt like my, something told me I don't want to do that right now. I'm just don't feel like it's in alignment with what I am here to do. So you know what? I try to make my skin look the best it can. I'm going to be using, I want to do this, uh, one skincare line. I'm not cherry picking, which is what we love to call in the aesthetic world. Like where you pick a product from every different line and then you use it. And then you're like, why is my skin so reactive. Well, guess what? <laughs> using too many products from too many different lines. I'm using one line. I want to see if it really does change and heal my skin because I feel like my skin is very reactive. As you can see, I think that has a lot to do with hormones.
hormones and what I'm going through right now. But that's just how I feel. I think that, I don't know, maybe I'm just a little bit more heightened because I've just pushed myself so hard and now we have the repercussions. So I pushed it. I hit everything I wanted to do. My full line is out and now I'm down on the slide where it's like, okay, I, I maximized myself and now I'm trying to regroup, like recover. So that's kind of like, I tried to survive those three years and now I'm trying to revive myself. So that's how I'm kind of feeling. So that's why I'm on Saqqara doing like all of the nutrition for myself. I, if you watch my Instagram, I show you all these different things that I've tried. I've ordered from Beam to the LMNT, which is the sodium electrolytes that I put in my water. What else? I have my aura ring back on. They have a whole new thing where they track your stress during the day. So I'm like, wow, that should be interesting. I've had some other things that have gone on too when it comes to feeling like, I don't know, carpal tunnel maybe. I'm not quite sure, but I have an appointment with um, a very interesting, more advanced kind of technology to kind of see what's going on with my neck. I think it's really my neck being crouched over computers and not standing up straight and what have you. It's always been a problem. So working on a lot of things, a lot of things behind the scenes. So when someone just comes out and says, you know, you have X, Y, and Z disease or whatever the case is, they have no idea. So we can't concentrate on things like that, right ladies? So we're gonna go right into the makeup tutorial. We are going to take the eye primer. This is going to neutralize out all of this grays. You can see that I have discoloration on my eyelids. Yes, that has been there. So I just neutralize it out. You can see the difference of neutralizing and why would I do this? Because I want my eyeshadow to look true. I don't want it to be muddied up with whatever pigmentations on my eyelids and I want it to last and just go on really nice and smooth. So this is my first step. Eye primer is on. Now, here are my, I have my middle color. You can't see, they're in my little clamshells. So this is my middle color for my Rewrite the Rules. And I'm going to just sweep it across my eyes. And you know what's really nice is that I love that we're bringing back mattes, especially these two, because we have Rewrite the Rules, it's cool gray, and it was so popular, it really looked beautiful on my Fierce Aging Ladies. And then we have the Strong Brew, so if you want the nude colors, you can go into that. So you have two great options, and you can build them up too if you want to mix them with Lay Bottled Blonde or the Cabana, you could have more options. Now I'm gonna go into the lightest color, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. <laughs> this like little tiny clamshell. I actually prepped my skin too before. I'm gonna just take this and sweep it across on the top. Now I'm going to take the deepest color and I'm going to just contour a little bit. This is what this looks like. It's just really pretty. I'm going to actually, you know what? I'm gonna take my tapered blending brush and I'm going to go into this color and just give it that dimension in the corner. Again, this can be a really nice wash of color for you. You don't have to go crazy. If you do wanna do a smoky eye with this, you can do that. But it is really a beautiful palette that can go from light to dark, depending on your application. I mean, if you want to really give yourself that depth, it has a lot of range. And you notice that I put on the contour, it doesn't have to be perfect, and then I blend it out with my eyeshadow blending brush. I'm going to just clean up on the sides here. It's really important for me because I don't need any more darkness there. I'm going to just take my Almay pad, it's easiest to access for me right now, and I'm going to just wrap it around my finger and lift up. So you're gonna see just, I don't want that darkness going down lower than my eyelid there, so I always lift up at the ends. Now I'm going to just curl my lashes. Lashes are curled. Now I'm gonna take charcoal, which is my waterproof eyeliner, and I'm going to just do a really beautiful, just very, very tight. When I say tight, I'm not talking about the tight line. I'm talking about tight right into the eyelashes. And this is going to go on really creamy and beautiful. Also, you have to be careful because it is creamy. So if you're not used to working with a creamy eyeshadow, you have to put less pressure, not a lot of pressure, or else you're going to be in for a big surprise. So you can see, I nicely just smudged it out. It's such a beautiful combo. Rewrite the rules with charcoal. You have this just really pretty, can be more of that smoky if you want to, or you can do this like every day. 
Remember, I do have a special eye pencil sharpener and lip pencil sharpener that is designed for my eye liners and my lip liners. This is very important to be using because if you use anything else from what we've learned, it is not going to sharpen your pencil properly. Again, it's not a sharp point. It is a rounded point. I did that on purpose for mature eyes. It's not a hard formulation. It's not going to to be dragging on those very delicate eyelids. So that's why you have to have the special sharpener. So now I'm going to apply my volume up. This is my mascara that I designed that I really, really love. I mean, it separates every single lash. It gives me that beautiful black coating. So I go to the base of my lashes, the comb, the brush literally just takes every single lash and just deposit this beautiful creamy mascara. It is water resistant. It is okay for sensitive eyes, contact wearers. So you're gonna see that it really just gives you this false lash look with little effort, depending on, you can still build it if you want to. But again, you have to be very intentional when you put on your mascara. If you just go over your, your lashes really fast and you're really not you know, going to the base and really separating and putting the lashes where you want them, you're gonna get a completely different application. So again, it's technique. It's learning like, oh, I, I used to have ones that I just roll real fast and whatever, and it looks great. Well, guess what? When you change to a short teeth silicone in this formulation, you have to be more intentional. You have to really separate and get that look and then it lasts all day. Mascara is on, just really finishing out those eyes. Now, the best part is, this is my favorite part because I like to really neutralize out my skin and really make it look beautiful. And I think that's where a lot of confidence comes. That's why I'm working very hard on my skin, my skincare really. So this is my Just Peachy. This is going to be my color corrector. I need to color correct before I add on concealer or even put on my BB cream. This is something that I need to do because I have this discoloration up in here. I want this to be nice and brightened. I bring it down because that's what I need to do for my face. You might not need to do that for your face. You need to figure out what is best for you. Also, speaking of what's best for you, again, the whole SPF controversy of me not putting SPF on in every single video, we know why we, I don't do that because I'm concentrating on the makeup and it's not about SPF application. But for all of you SPF police out there, I just bought a new SPF. That is an SPF 50. It is supposed to be more of a serum, so I'm very excited. I'll be sharing soon. I'm sure you're not gonna love the price of it, but that's what this channel is all about. It's free education. I buy the products that are $10, $15, $30, $50, $150, $150, so you don't have to. So you get to have the free education without having to purchase. If it is worth it, I will let you know. I never tell you what to buy. I only guide you with what my experience is as a professional makeup artist and licensed esthetician. It's never about buying product. It's about education. This is what I use. You might find this to be great for your skin or you know what? I don't really think this is worth it. It is just real honest information that I've always produced even before YouTube. This is how I conducted my treatment rooms or if I was a national sales manager or if I was a national educator, that's how I work and that's what you're always gonna get here on the channel. I'm going to use my creamy concealer and I'm going to just kind of dot in, these are my little special areas here. Again, I've told you like this dip here, it's like the hard edge. I'm gonna fill that with a lighter color so I'm lifting it out. I don't really need it all underneath my eye like that because when I go back with my foundation buffing brush, it actually moves right underneath there, which is perfect. So I'm just buffing this out to kind of give me that nice airbrushed look. This concealer is so beautiful. It's creamy, yet it's not watery, liquidy. It's not too light. It's going to be that medium consistency. It's not heavy. But again, I guess that's subjective to some people and their skin tones or skin types, I should say. But I really worked hard on this concealer because I didn't want it to be heavy, cracky, settling into all of the fine lines. And are we looking? I have plenty of fine lines all underneath here, all here might be different from yours, might not be as much because again, I'm 48. So it's not like I have skin that's 20 tight and not moving. I have it and I smile a lot and I make a lot of like facial expressions, very dramatic as a Greek woman. So it's not in my lines, which I love, but I do set it with my Nikita banana. I'm going to use my BB cream. This is going to be my beauty balm, but we call it a beauty blur. And I'm going to 
I usually use a pump, but maybe a pump in like a quarter. And I'm going to just buff this into my skin. I love the fact that it's lightweight. I love the fact it lasts all day. It's semi-matte, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. It's just beautiful. I do need a little bit more, not a full pump, but to get my forehead, I do need a little extra. I'm going to set right away my eyes with the Nikita Bananas, my brightening powder. So I'm gonna just take my, this is really a powder brush. I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyes. So we just launched the Coconut Row. This is our bronzing stick. So we do have three different bronzers that you can use and they're all different. So we have the Creme Brulee, just for an easy, fast recap. We have the Creme Brulee, which is a hybrid. This is a powder. So this is going to be with shea butter. It's really beautiful, it's soft. It's going to just really warm up the skin. You can contour with it. You can use it on your eyes if you want to. You've seen me do that in so many videos. Then we came out with our Classic Beach Glow. This is an all cream palette. It has a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer in it. Now, this is a different formula. It's almost like skincare meets makeup. Beautiful ingredients in this product. Beautiful, like dewy, that just gives a really beautiful, fresh look to the skin. And you have the highlighter blush and the bronzer all in one compact. So that is an option for you there. And then the stick, a lot of women like using a stick just to kind of swipe on or they want to do different contouring to the face. So that's why I came out with the stick. Great for travel too, what have you. So I'm going to just use a little bit here. It's just such an easy way to get that warmth to my skin. A little bit goes a long way. So that's gonna be something that's very concentrated. So if you're used to using bronzing sticks that you swipe on and then it disappears, this is not that kind of bronzing stick. So I'm going to, you can see, just enough. I mean, you can do more if you want to. I don't, I just kind of swipe that on. I can add on my jawline if I want to also. It's just really an easy way to add that warmth to the skin. I'm going to use St. Bart's as my cream blush. I'm gonna put this on. I love a pink with a gray. So my eyes have that cool gray on them. And then I'm going to just add on this beautiful silky cream blush in a stick. I'm going to use Rosé All Day as my lip liner. It's waterproof. And then I'm going to go over with my Pretty Smart. I fill in my lip with my waterproof lip liner to have more staying power. And then I'm going to take my Pretty Smart. It's really a beautiful petally color like so. Well, you know what? I want to have a high gloss gloss. So I'm going to use, I have it right here. It is my, it's from Dior. It's a, it's called Rose Wood. This is their lip oil. I just want to have like this extra glossiness. It might be too heavy for some of you, but I just wanted to have like that extra high shine to my lips. And that is basically the look. So we have the rewrite the rules coming back out. Rewrite the rules, ladies, with your beauty. Pay attention to your own skin, your own face, your own aging, your own internal wellness. Stop looking around at everybody else. Stop listening to everybody on YouTube. All the doctors telling you <laughs> everything that's escaping your face and just being depleted, what have you. Empower yourself. Empower yourself with your skincare, with your makeup, with the food you eat, with the exercise that you do. And I just love you being part of this community. Thanks for staying with me throughout my whole roller coaster of a ride of 14 years here on YouTube and accepting the changes that have happened with me and that you see, or maybe you don't see, or maybe you we will see in the next couple of years. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.